Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making an easy, delicious taco soup. So let's get started. First off, you're gonna grab a big pot or Dutch oven, and we need an onion. Chop it up. My kids are obsessed with tacos, so we definitely have a taco night. Actually, ours is on Sunday instead of Tuesday. Sometimes I like to switch it up and we make this fun taco soup recipe. This is not a traditional Mexican recipe. My mom, who is from Mexico, was like, taco soup? What? <laughs> but it's really tasty and fun, and you can make it with ingredients you probably have in your pantry or that everyone can get at the supermarket. Also gonna turn this pot onto medium high heat just to start getting it warm. And I do wanna say you can do so many variations with this. There are a ton of additions and substitutions we'll talk about. <gasps> Watch your fingers, John. <laughs> Grab a wooden spoon and a copy of my book available for pre-order now. Link in the description box below. Into my pot, I'm adding one pound of ground beef. This is 90-10, meaning it's 90% meat or lean, 10% fat. Actually, I prefer 80-20 or 70-30, but that's totally up to you. 80-20 might be the ideal for this. We're gonna break this up with a wooden spoon, but let's get that onion in there too. And unseasoned beef just makes me sad. Don't do it. Go to your spice cabinet. What do you have? What can we add that's interesting? I think we could use some, we'll kind of have a little chili powder, a little cumin, and some smoked paprika. I'm stirring in a one ounce or 28 gram packet of taco seasoning. You could definitely use your own homemade one or a store-bought, they're both gonna work just fine. Also sprinkling in just a little chili powder. Cumin is always welcome in my house. There we go, we go through it quick. And some smoked paprika is nice too. Really optional, whatever you want, and you could have left it plain because we are adding more seasoning later on. Mix this up, we just wanna brown our beef, and you could have used Soy rizo, you could have used turkey or ground chicken. If you're using turkey or ground chicken though, make sure you're using the higher fat one, not the extra lean. That gets really rubbery. I'm breaking this meat up and mushing it down with the back of a wooden spoon. One of my pet peeves whenever there's ground meat in a recipe is seeing the extruded lines. I don't like that. So just mush it up and you won't see it. You could have larger pieces of meat or break it up into tiny little chunks. I like larger pieces in this soup. I just wanna brown the meat a little bit first, so we're gonna cook it for a few minutes, and once it's browned, we can add the rest of our stuff in. Okay, this looks nice and browned. Now it's time to add some of the fun stuff. Right now I'm adding a 10 ounce can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. There's a lot of great brands. You can choose your favorite. Stir that in. A 15 ounce can of black beans, along with the black bean juice, don't throw that out, as well as pinto beans, 15 ounces. I'm also adding a four ounce can of diced green chilies. I love these guys. Two cups of frozen corn. I would not use the canned stuff. And if you are using the canned stuff, make sure you drain it. This is looking delicious and so easy. I also want one and a half cups of water. Then there, now it's looking a little more soupy. Stir this until it's well combined and we're gonna bring this to a simmer now. All these flavors really need to come together. As you can see, this is one of those super quick and easy like weeknight meals or weekend meals that you can make with just a few ingredients out of the pantry and it comes together so fast. All right, it's coming to a simmer, that looks good. I'm reducing the heat to medium low and I'm gonna partially cover this. It has some steam escaping, but it'll retain a lot of the liquids. Our soup's gonna simmer away for 30 minutes. You're gonna walk by and occasionally just give it a stir. All those flavors are really gonna meld together and intensify, and if you want great make-ahead meals, you can make this one day, serve it over the next two days. Ah, the flavors just get better. Towards the end of your simmer time, it's time to start thinking about the toppings. I would love some avocado in this. I saw this TikTok thing about um, doing this to remove the pit, like everyone's like, oh my gosh, MX. It does not work, it was such a lie. Meanwhile, you can find me on TikTok, search Preppy Kitchen. Look, I think the fan looks pretty, but honestly, a dice is where it's at. So we're gonna dice these guys up. Let's get that avocado separated from its skin. Now, we're about to drop a flavor bomb. Ranch dressing seasoning. One packet in there. Stir it in, and we're just gonna simmer this for an extra two minutes. Ladle your soup into a bowl, and then it's time to top it up to your heart's content. This is the best part. Go ahead and add a big dollop of sour cream, a sprinkle of the cheese of your choice. Cheddar, Monterey Jack, they all work really well. 
add some diced avocado, a sprinkling of onions, a few cilantro leaves, and because it's taco soup, we're gonna have a couple chips in there too. Now it's time to enjoy. That is just plain delicious and it really sticks to the ribs. It's gonna fill you up, you're gonna be really happy and still go on for seconds. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe and if you like my videos, check out my soup playlist.